Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my back to school essentials. These aren't makeup items, I'll do another video for that, but these are the things that I would keep like in a little bag in your locker or in your backpack that are just good to have around, that are like good things maybe you wouldn't think of that you would want to bring to school. First off, I'm going to start with makeup because I'm a makeup girl. So the first thing I would bring is powder. Here I have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. And you don't want to bring a brush to school because that's a big, a bulky brush, so I recommend the little puffs that come with it. I know MAC doesn't come with one, but this is from my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, I think. Um, I used to use that one. But any kind of uh, powder puff is good. It'd be good to use. Now, two things to go along with powder. One would be the oil-absorbing sheets. Now, I don't have any, so leave a comment below if you have a good brand you like and just let me know because I'd love to go pick up some because they're really helpful. But if you don't have those, you can always go to the bathroom and kind of blot your face with toilet paper like it's the same thing. Another thing that's handy with your powder, if you don't have a mirror in the compact of your powder, like my MAC one doesn't, is a little compact mirror. This one is from Mario Badescu. It came in a little set I got for the holidays. It came with like a face wash, like a face exfoliator, moisturizer. I don't really use them. I don't find they work that well for me. But the mirror is just blinded, you guys. <laughs> mirror is really helpful to have around. You can also just find them wherever, your drugstore, Target, you know, you'll find one. My second makeup item, I don't think it's necessary to bring a lot of makeup to school, is chapstick or some sort of lip balm. Um, if you want to bring maybe the lipstick you're wearing that day to touch up, I think like lip balm works the same. I like chapstick brand Cherry. Chapstick is the only brand I'm not allergic to. I have an allergy lip balm. I highly recommend the Cherry flavor because it's awesome. I think they make like a strawberry kind. I don't know. I'm going to check that out. Okay, well these are kind of makeup related, but I recommend Q-tips. You never really know what you're going to need a Q-tip for. Maybe if your mascara is like smudging under your eyes or something. Um, Q-tips have these cute little travel things. I'm not sure where I got this. It might have been in the travel section of Target, you know, where they like sell travel things. It might have been like full of Q-tips at one point. I think it came full and then like I used them all up. And now I use it to travel. Like whenever I'm traveling, I bring like my cotton pads and my Q-tips and my little floss picks and I put it in here. These are my favorite Q-tips. <laughs> I know favorite Q-tip. I'm a little weird. They're from Target. They sell like purple ones too. Either works for me. I like pink. I'm a pink girl. And I like these because they're not overly fluffy like the Q-tip brand are. Because I find those have like a lot of cotton on them and I just don't like using them. I find like it gets everywhere you're trying to take your makeup off and things like that. Yeah, and they're pink so they're pretty and they're fun and they're girly. So you want to eat lunch and you got to be sanitary. So you want hand sanitizers. These are from Bath and Body Works. Um, the little pocket backs you know, antibacterial hand gel. This one is stress relief because school is stressful sometimes, and so I like the scent. Um, it is pretty calming. I wouldn't say, like, stress relieving, but, you know, it's calming. It's nice. An island margarita maybe remind you of the summer vacation. You know, give you a little pep up during lunchtime because it's fall and you're sad and you want summer back. And after lunch, you want to freshen your breath, so I like mints. I know some schools don't allow gum, so mints are a great option. I like these. They're Lifesavers mints. Wint O Green. They look like this. You could also go with Tic Tacs or any other mints you have. I have the, what are they called? The icebreakers kind. Like, they come in a little tin. I think it's also easier to bring little single wraps like these as opposed to a giant tin. Um, I guess if you're going to be sharing with your friends, it's good because those are small and they, they also dissolve faster, the smaller ones, but I think it's easier to throw one of these. They take up so much less space than like a big plastic thing because as you eat the mints, the plastic thing is still the same size, but these, as you eat it, you can just throw away the plastic that's wrapping them. Okay, so two more things you bring to school. One, I'm going to be honest with you ladies, one of these or one of the other ones, they're good to have. In case of emergency, you know you need one. The last thing is a pen because I know you have your pencil case and you have all your pencils in there, but what if like you don't have your pencil case on you or you lose your pencil case or everyone has taken all your pens and pencils and you need an emergency pen because you have a class. Pens are a great thing to keep in your locker or in the special little pouch in your backpack because it's an emergency pen in case you ever need one. And I find that that happens to me all the time. Like I'll lose my last pen or I'll like forget to put a new one in my backpack that night and it's just good to have. So now that you have all this stuff you're going to bring to school, now you need somewhere to put it. Makeup bags are a great choice for this. Maybe not one that's clear so everyone can see your stuff. Maybe one that's, you know, patterned. This one is a cheetah leopard animal print. I don't know what animal it is. Correct me down the down bar below. Tell me the difference. Um, and this actually is the cover for my Amika mini straightener. I bought this straightener at Sephora if you want to go get one. Um, maybe I'll do a review on that sometime. Forever 21 also has great ones. It's just a makeup bag. You don't have to buy a straightener with it. Um, this one says Paris on it. I ordered this one online. You can buy them in the store online. I never see makeup bags in my Forever 21, or at least cute ones. And this last one is from Ulta. It's cute. It's hot pink. It has a purple lining. So that's it for my school essentials. Some things that I'm going to bring to school, keep in a little bag, and 
my backpack just in case. I hope you guys found this helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you have an essential that I didn't mention, leave it in the comments below because I would love to see it so I can keep it in my bag and other people can see it and we can all just share our ideas. So please leave us a thumbs up if you liked the video and it was helpful. It would mean a lot to me and subscribe. That would mean even more. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! Order one would be orbital. Some sort of if maybe your mate don't allow gum. I'm dropping them. Another thing, oh, do you think you, I, if you have something in your bed, if you keep,